Good morning, we're so glad you're here. Your daily vlogs. If you enjoy this video, come back tomorrow! Today, we don't know what we're doing yet. No. We're at least doing some more nursery work. Yes, and we're, like, I mean, it's already 11. We kind of, like, took it easy this morning. I worked just, this morning a little bit. Yeah. But overall, it just felt good. Oh. It felt good to be home. <laughs> and I'm getting my hair cut. Yeah. So one of the things that came in the mail recently that we ordered on Amazon was a bookshelf. And I'm gonna start it right now, but I only have about 25, 30 minutes before I need to get ready to go to the barber shop. So I'm gonna see how far I can get on getting this uh, this here shelf bookshelf ready. It's actually one that attaches to the wall and it's gonna go here. And we have a bed skirt and I'm gonna do baby laundry. And we've got a bunch of stuff to show hangers you. coming today and a bunch of stuff to show you from yeah. yesterday, you're right. Yeah, that we were too sleepy to show last night. <laughs> Perfect time with me not to get ready to go to the barber. But after I get back from getting my hair cut, I will install that with some anchors right there. But cute little four four shelves, two feet wide, what is it? four feet tall. Looks good. Alright, time to say goodbye to this mop. I'm excited. So we did not leave Stephen Leah's yesterday empty-handed whatsoever. They got us these two really nice silicone bibs, which is awesome because we actually haven't gotten many bibs at all. We're kind of like gonna see how drooly James is, how spit, spit up he is, um, but these will be great for when he starts food. So we got some hand-me-downs from their boys, but Peter got this hand-me-down from Steve. It's a muscle massager which will be great for world marathon challenge they gave us these cute jordans here are some more hand-me-downs this really cute vintagey um disney sweatshirt evie really likes it um this mickey mouse one which is so funny because we were actually going to buy this but we couldn't find his size and then three really nice baby carriers all different kinds different colors they said, you know, just hopefully they'll get more use out of them. So they hand, handed down them all to us. This size is more so for toddlers. This one is for when James is a little bit more tiny. And this is one of those wraps. We also have a wrap that's like an oatmeal color and then a more charcoal baby carrier that Deborah bought us off our register. So thank you, Deborah. I can't wait for that to arrive. Um, because we hope to do a lot of baby wearing, but it'll be nice to have different options for different things. And then this is the last thing they gave us. Their boys were actually born in New York, so they needed some winter gear. So these are like, basically like a little carrier to put in the stroller to keep them nice and toasty, a baby size and a toddler size. So for all the time we'll be in Chicago and we'll need this for them, for all of our babies really. Um, they also gave us these, they're super, super nice. And what's cool is they have like the little space for the buckle to go through so they can stay warm and safe. Alrighty, so I just finished the vlog. Peter's still at the barber. I started the laundry. I told you guys that I would show you what arrived from Amazon as it arrived that we ordered with gift cards. Um, I'll show you the bed skirt for the crib once it's washed and on because it's pretty wrinkly right now. And I took it out of the packaging already. Um, but there's a couple of things that have arrived that I can show you um, before I get those in the wash. We got these little booty shoes, really just for the first couple of months that he's here. Um, it's going to be like the coldest Florida gets the first months of his life. So figured some shoe alternatives for the little guy. 
Um, and then these are changing pad liners. We're actually going to use this bed as like our changing table. So we'll have these little liners at the ready um, so that we're not doing it like on the blanket. I'm so sorry if you can hear the dryer, but there's stuff with zippers in there. I'm just closing this door and hopefully that'll help for a little bit. We have, um, you know, the reusable paper towels that we'll probably use. We also have the liners from our disposable diapers that we'll probably use for burp cloths, but we just wanted like a handful of really nice ones that we can take on the go. So that's it from Amazon that's arrived. Um, but we did get this male snob um, car seat cover or even like nursing cover from Morgan and Steven. And then Amanda and Neil sent us these cute washcloths. They go with the other ones that we got. So that is awesome. Match some of the towels actually. Um, and then some muslin bibs, so cute. And a wearable blanket, more Burt's Bees. We love the Burt's Bees brand. Right as I stopped, recording the doorbell rang and all of james's velvet gray hangers arrived as well as these little mittens um to help him from scratching so i think we have a couple more things coming from amazon a couple things from baby list and really all we need to get is more clothes his bassinet and the stroller all right we are all set all cleaned up I like it, turned out really well. Um, I think they had some switch of barbers here at the Floyd's in Winter Park that I usually go to. But the guy did a really good job. I like it, feel fresh. Um, I just texted her and said, do you want me to bring you anything home? So let's see if uh, she says anything. These two are just relaxing with a scary movie on. <laughs> what are you watching? Prometheus. Ooh. And I just filled up the bookcase. It looks so nice and cheerful and colorful. I am seriously organizing and getting stuff ready to be washed, but it just makes the, the room feel like more lively and like, like it's gonna be you soon. I am cooking up some veggie tacos for dinner. I have zucchini, three zucchini, and a whole onion. This sauteing for now. I'm gonna bump it up with like makeshift taco seasoning in a sec. And then I have some rice going that I'm making a little bit more creamy with oat milk and some oil. And then I added just some tahini. I'm also gonna add some beans and tomatoes to it just so it's like a heartier rice for our side. I'm trying to convince Sarah to watch a, a zombie movie, which is my favorite genre of horror on Netflix called Train to Busan. And it apparently is, was like, a huge, it was like the first box office of wild success in Korea in horror films. Come in. Alright, here is delicious looking veggie rice delicious heavenly combo dinner express. Are you excited? Yes. You're hungry? Yes. You ready? Yeah, I uh, I just started it a little bit ago just to see if it was worth it. So far I'm 10 minutes and I think the action's about to start, so I'll restart it. Ooh, it is stormy, which makes this zombie movie night all the creepier. <laughs> so far, what do you think? I like it, I think it's well done. I like how it's shot. Yes, yeah, so do I. Oh, wow, wow, wow. The snow is that was really good. And I did read an article before we started that like about like up and coming zombie genres and there was a second one out. Um, gives no spoilers to actually how that movie goes, but it was really good. I mean yeah. if you're if you're if you're up for watching a subtitled movie. Zombie creepies. Maybe that helped, like having to like look, like it didn't make it as creepy because I was like focused on the words. It was really good. It was it? really good, and it was just like different, like not what I expected. Yeah, it was really good. Netflix. Mm -hmm. A very very last minute unexpected trip for me to Publix to pick up ice cream and kombucha, with about 14 minutes before the store closes. I got this. I. It was only like 
four and a half minutes and look at my haul. Bogos. Bogo. Not a bogo. This is not just a bogo, it's a buy two, get two free, and Sarah doesn't even know yet. This is ridiculous. I felt like I was just on supermarket sweep. In and out in like less than 11 minutes, maybe less than 10 minutes. And I saved $27 with all my deals. Look at that, I don't even need to be a coupon queen when we're only shopping Publix BOGOs. Ice cream, ice cream, she screams. For ice cream. For anything. <laughs> Movie night continues since it's only nine o'clock. Yep, we're going with an oldie but a goodie. And we realized that... Wow, 2012? It was really that long ago? We realized that we haven't actually watched this from we start love, to finish we in love years. This. We love that. We love the Dark Knight trilogy. But we love the Dark Knight the most with the Joker. Wouldn't you say we watched that the most? Yeah, but I think I like this one the most. Ah! I like Bane. Because I, I know, I like Bane and I like Batman's character arc and I like the introduction of Robin even though they flopped with making expanding this universe more yeah yeah it's really good flick have you ever seen it she did not make it to the end of batman she did not make it to the end of batman but i did for once <laughs> did you remember what happened <laughs> yes i did <laughs> and i did something that i probably shouldn't have mm -hmm. i watched the trailer for the robert pattinson pat patterson pat pat pattinson We've been talking about that for ages. It's kind of, it's kind of anticlimactic to me. Oh. It is twelve thirty, a little late. So today is September sixth, Sunday, but not a real Sunday because tomorrow's Labor Day, and I have Labor Day, quote unquote, off. But I, you know, I got to do a little bit of work in the morning. So today's quote is by Anonymous: If you wish to be a warrior, prepare to get broken. If you wish to be an explorer, prepare to get lost. And if you wish to be a lover, prepare to be both. I gotta think of that last sentence. I got a fresh haircut. You sure do. I gotta start stretching more. I feel like I was so good that I knocked it off. You only got One weeks left. I know. I should do it at night. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's good to be home. It's good to be home. If you don't see me stretch in the comments, say, Sarah, did you stretch? We know what our goals are, we know what we hope to accomplish, and believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions.